Hey guys, what is up? Let me close the window. Okay. <sighs> Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel Waldorf. If you are new here, hello. First of all, I just want to say thank you guys so, so much. I was not, I'm just gonna be real with you, I was not expecting to get any fucking views or comments on my last video, and I was shook when I saw that y'all came through. I feel like we have some new friends and family here so welcome if you are new and thank you for supporting my channel i cannot believe how many people are going through the same thing like i knew it was difficult but i didn't know that there were so many other people going through it thank you because i feel less alone and i so appreciate all of your comments and um yeah, so thank you, thank you, thank you. So I got so inspired by everybody's comments, DMs, emails, and I and like I still have to go through so many of them. I wanted to kind of Okay. Alright, Frank. Oh <gasps> hi! Oh, we love Frankie. Okay, all right. after going through all of you guys' comments on my Seattle Broke Me video, I gotta say, like that inspired me to make this video. So I kind of wanted to talk slash start the conversation about why Seattle is the way it is, how do people make friends in Seattle, and what Seattle culture is, and why the Seattle phrase is a thing. Fuck. Okay, so let me just start off by saying that I, I do not hate Seattle. I feel like a lot of the comments I got were, you don't hate Seattle, you just hate the people that are in there. Let me just like, I don't hate the people, I don't hate Seattle. Sometimes it can be kind of difficult. Some days are better than others, and I think that's really anywhere that you live. But Seattle is a really tricky place to live, and it is like a rock that you have to chisel away at. It, it can be really discouraging sometimes to live here, to say the least. So, so like I was saying, I do not hate the people in Seattle by any means. I think that some of the, the people I've met in Seattle are the best and the kindest people. But with that being said, they are so passive. They are passive as fuck. And that can sometimes ruin my groove, dude. So my friend Brent messaged me. He is a Seattle native. And he tried to explain to me so thoroughly, you know, why it's hard to make friends here. And I think that he hit a home run on several things. He was basically saying people like to be comfortable here. And if you don't keep reaching out to people, it's just, it's never going to happen. And that can be really hard to do. People are just really set in their ways here. And when they find the group that they love, that they like, they don't tend to leave that group. When I think about like my friend group back home, we all do different things, but that is like not the case with Seattle. In Seattle, from a lot of you guys' comments, a lot of you guys' messages, I kind of be getting the same thing. If you're in Seattle, you it's almost like you belong to a specific group. So for example, if you're into fashion, you hang out with the fashion people. If you're into outdoors and like hiking stuff, you hang out with those people. If you're into photography, you hang out with those people. If you're into tech, you hang out with those people and like so on and so on. And this is a mind fuck to me because I feel like you don't have to be associated with a group in order to be friends with somebody. And that's crazy. I do feel like I agree with that statement though. Like, oh, like I'm thinking of all the people that I know and the groups of friends that they have. And this is obviously like a very broad generalization, but most of them do belong to groups. I'm used to being in a group where there's, you know, several different people and they do several different things. And we just hang out because we like hanging out with each other. And I feel like in Seattle, that's not really, that's not really how it fucking works. And it's not necessarily a bad thing it's just something i'm not used to but i think that people here stick to their groups they're satisfied with that being said if you are trying to make friends the biggest suggestion that i got was to have a motherfucking hobby okay so whether you like to dance whether you like to canoe whether you like to save the environment find your niche find your group and stick with it. And I'm not telling you you have to do that, but I feel like that is one way to gain friends. Find your group, find your niche. Those people are gonna love you. Okay, another suggestion I got for making friends here is to be very strategic with where you live and what your neighborhood is. And I feel like in a lot of my videos, I've kind of already said this, like where you live is such a big deal because I lived in Tukwila for a year and I didn't make any friends. I made zero friends in Tukwila because nobody wanted to go there. It's important where you live. I live near Cap Hill and 
I'm still having a tough time making friends. Now let me just say, it's a two-way street. I don't always put myself out there. So I feel like when I do, and I don't get anything reciprocated back, I'm like, hold up, I'm not gonna do that again because that sucked. I do think that location is really important. And I think that where you live can definitely make or break the friend situation. Along with a lot of other things like friend groups, hobbies, you know? I think too, we have to remember that Seattle, I forgot who commented this, but every city has its own vibe, right? Its own vibe, its own energy, and not everybody fits with that vibe. So I think sometimes it's really, really easy to not fit into the Seattle vibe because, you know, this was a city that was built literally from the ground up. Um, we have grunge here, we have cloudy skies 90% of the time, I feel like, and it's kind of a different vibe here, okay? And I feel like a lot of people that were like, I fucking hate this city, I didn't make any friends, like, maybe it's just because this city wasn't for you, the vibe wasn't, you know, working with you. I'm not gonna lie, there's a lot of times where I don't mesh with Seattle, and that's hard for me to say out loud because I mean, I've been here for two and a half years, you guys, and I know that's not like a lot of time for some people, but that's a lot of time for me, especially like I want to make this place my home and I'm really, you know, grasping for straws as to figure out why the fuck I should make this my home. So I understand and I get that Seattle is a little bit different when it comes to its vibe. Okay, you guys, that kind of concludes this video. I hope that you learned something and I hope that you've gotten a little bit more insight on the Seattle culture, the Seattle freeze. Please leave a comment below. You guys are a part of this. We all are a part of this. I really want to know your experience with Seattle. If you guys did like this video and you want more content like this, um, make sure to give it a thumbs up. That just like lets me know if you guys want stuff like this. I really appreciate you guys watching and commenting and giving me your insight on, you know, how Seattle is treating you because it's so easy to feel alone in this state and to feel like you're kind of going through it alone. Just know that you're not. I now know that I'm not going through it alone. There's so many people that are here right now and they're experiencing the same things I am. So you're not alone. Keep your head up, stay strong. This whole experience, whether you stick with it or if you move, it's gonna make you a better person. It's gonna make you a stronger person. So anyways, guys, I hope that you have a beautiful fucking day and I will see you very soon. Okay, bye. She's a...